Byron, as is well known, lived and indeed died in his love for Greece and his desire to free it from the yoke of Turkish domination. And at school, I was made to learn the following lines, which despite the fact that much of my time was taken up with Greek history, Greek literature and the Greek language didn't really come to mean so much to me until I first set foot in Greece in my 20s. And since then, I have been uh, completely enthralled to the Isles of Greece. The Isles of Greece, the Isles of Greece, where burning Sappho loved and sung, where grew the arts of war and peace, where Delos rose and Phoebus sprung. Eternal summer gilds them yet, but all except their sun is set. The Cyan and the Teian muse, the hero's harp, the lover's lute, have found the fame your shores refuse, their place of birth alone is mute to sounds which echo further west than your sire's islands of the blest. The mountains look on Marathon, and Marathon looks on the sea, and musing there an hour alone I dreamt that Greece might still be free, for standing on the Persian's grave I could not deem myself a slave. A king sat on the rocky brow, which looks o'er sea-borne Salamis, and ships by thousands lay below, and men in nations, all were his. He counted them at break of day, and when the sun set, where were they? And where are they? And where art thou, my country? On thy voiceless shore the heroic lay is tuneless now. The heroic bosom beats no more, and must thy lyre, so long divine, degenerate into hands like mine. To something in the dearth of fame, though linked among a fettered race, to feel at least a patriot's shame, even as I sing, suffuse my face. For what is left the poet here? For Greeks a blush, for Greece a tear. Must we but weep our days more blessed? Must we but blush? Our fathers bled. Earth, render back from out thy breast a remnant of our Spartan dead. Of the three hundred grant but three to make a new Thermopylae. What? Silent still, and silent all? Ah, no. The voices of the dead sound like a distant torrent's fall, and answer, let one living head, but one, arise. We come, we come, tis but the living who are dumb. In vain, in vain, strike other chords. Fill high the cup with Samian wine. Leave battles to the Turkish hordes, and shed the blood of Sio's vine. Hark, rising to the ignoble call, how answers each bold bacchanal. You have the Pyrrhic dance as yet. Where is the Pyrrhic phalanx gone? Of two such lessons, why forget the nobler and the manlier one? You have the letters Cadmus gave. Think ye he meant them for a slave? Fill high the bowl with Samian wine, we will not think of themes like these. It made an Acrian song divine. He served, but served Polycrates, a tyrant. But our masters then were still at least our countrymen. The tyrant of the Chersonese was freedom's best and bravest friend. That tyrant was Miltiades. Oh, that the present hour would lend another despot of the kind. Such chains as his were sure to bind. Fill high the bowl with Samian wine. On Suli's rock and Parga's shore exists the remnant of a line such as the Doric mothers bore. And there, perhaps, some seed is sown the Heracleitan blood might own. Trust not 
for freedom to the Franks. They have a king who buys and sells. In native swords and native ranks the only hope of courage dwells. But Turkish force and Latin fraud would break your shield, however broad. Fill high the bowl with Samian wine, our virgins dance beneath the shade. I see their glorious black eyes shine, but gazing on each glowing maid, my own the burning teardrop laves, to think such breasts must suckle slaves. Place me on Sunian's marble steep, where nothing save the waves and I may hear our mutual murmurs sweep. There, swan-like, let me sing and die. A land of slaves shall ne'er be mine. Dash down yon cup of Samian wine. <laughs>